Coryville. Is it worth saving? Coryville is currently in an identity crisis. With the ongoing expansion and population rise from the University of Cincinnati, as well as development of the new hospital complexes that are ongoing, the neighborhood is shrinking, but growing in population of transit residents due to the student housing. This is destroying the fabric of the neighborhood due to the lack of the residents that are making it their home. The loss of its supportive community is making it an easy target for redevelopment that in many ways does not have historical conservation in mind. Coryville is located in the geographic center of Cincinnati, Ohio. Coryville was one of the first communities that rose up outside of the then boundaries of the city of Cincinnati. Coryville and its community have been known for its rich history and rich Germanic heritage, which is still present and can be experienced at Mickleburg Gardens. Guests can enjoy the ambiance of their 19th century building, which is in the National Registry of Historical Places. The restaurant has the original Germanic architecture elements intact. It also has a full house of local German beer and wine. The 20th century, however, had a negative effect economically on the neighborhood and many of the original owners moved out, creating a rental units and encouraging a lower economic class to enter Coryville. The 1960s brought citywide renewal plans, and in their own words, the City Planning Commission of 1960, the essential characteristic of Coryville today is a combination of two traits, the high proportion of very well-built charming homes that were well worth updating and maintaining at a superior level, and the fact that a high proportion of these houses have been converted into small apartments. In the 1960s, Coryville has increased in automobile traffic and a high turnover rate of housing meant for many of the residents to not update or upkeep their homes. As a result, the once vibrant housing stock lost its appeal and value. Coryville was now becoming a more urbanized area because of an increase in population, not just in the community, but because of how fast the University of Cincinnati was expanding. The University of Cincinnati went from 500 students in 1894 to 12,500 in 1960, and then today, around 3,500 students now go to the University of Cincinnati. In the 1960s, Coryville went through the renewal process, like most of Cincinnati, the plan consists of idea to get rid of the older structures, increase private transportation, create more recreational space, and construct affordable housing. At the same time, the University of Cincinnati and the hospital complexes grew as well. This expansion displaced hundreds of families. In the end, Coryville's population plummeted, but was still a predominantly black neighborhood. During the time of racial riots broke out and caused much of the business districts to fail due to destruction of the property. Today there was a large demographic of transit residents and with that the economy and the nightlife has increased and created Coryville of today. The expansion of the University of Cincinnati as well as the expansion of a great hospital complex has greatly affected the community. The surroundings have dramatically changed due to the new development and mixed-use buildings. These new building projects had an effect by demolishing many homes and buildings that were landmarks to the community. In 2011, demolition of this historic school had begun. To the preservationists, the demolition of the school was a dramatic loss to the historical fabric of the community. But to the urbanist, it marked a turning point for the long-term troubled business district of Coryville. The $20 million project that is financed by the University of Cincinnati 
that will eventually take its place is a five-story mixed-use development that will be home to 102 apartments that are geared for the growing population of the student body of the university. Underneath the apartments will be retail that will also give an economic boost to the downtown business director of Coryville. Concerned by the rapid demolition of historical structures with little to no resistance, preservationist groups like that of Cincinnati Preservation Association, other known as CPA, which has a mission that is a nonprofit with a goal to serve the greater Cincinnati community as a resource and catalyst for preservation of the historic, cultural, and architecturally significant buildings. They try to accomplish their set goals by educating the community, advocacy in the community, as well as technical and social support using social media. In recent years, there has been more and more people from around Cincinnati and the Coryville community that are beginning to learn and hear about the lack of protest for certain historical buildings and are concerned by the lack of representation the community has on these matters. This has caused an uproar of resistance. The drama caused by this is a large formation of local protest by residents and preservationists alike. The demolition of a mixture of multifamily and single-family residential homes that are architecturally rare and once restored will look as they did when they were built between the years of 1885 and 1905. Today we hope that these buildings can be saved due to their architectural significance. Losing these buildings would be tragic and a wasted opportunity for Coryville and could end up being their downfall. Developers who want to turn Coryville into a mixed-use residential environment for students and hospital workers are completely disregarding the Cor that Coryville's urbanity. It is the last intact of Victorian middle-class architecture and has recommended for historical district designation by the Cincinnati Historic Inventory. People from around the community side with preservationists and think that this type of fast redevelopment could be harmful to Coryville's future. It is currently stealing away the community's greatest asset, their built environment. Cincinnati Preservation Association has drawn up other options for the renewal of Coryville that limit the demolition of historic buildings and houses. The plan is to restore the housing stock and fill them with proper residents that will strengthen the community that is on the brink of falling apart. What makes Coryville unique is its historical fabric that makes it an interesting and desirable place to live. Without it, Coryville will lose its identity and also its historical significance. Which would you think would look better in 10 years?